Hello YouTube, today we're going to melt down this copper. It's not a lot, a lot, but it's definitely going to prove a point here. What I got here is aircrete. I'm going to pour it into that little cut hole there. Now this is actually a sample from my father's samples. Probably a year old or a little over. But I hope he doesn't mind. I hope I get a few likes from doing this because he's going to be upset for me. I'm going to kick the vacuum on shortly and I'll turn that into a huge jet of fire. Trust me, I can melt this. I'm an expert. Sort of. That's the orange that we're looking for. Too hot to get any closer. I think the air creek is actually going to sink a little bit due to the weight because the copper is kind of heavy even though it's small and it's still kind of heavy so it's going to crush the air creek just a little bit I don't know if it'll melt through it I'm assuming it'll probably go a little bit but then it's going to cool off and it's really not going to like melt to the bottom at least I don't think it'll melt to the bottom The tunnel I'm about to discover was actually created by someone sticking a stick down into the air creek. I completely overlooked it before I started the experiment. Looks like it actually made a tunnel there. It just tunneled its way in. If I could stand in the light to let this adjust. Yep. Looks like a tunnel. Ooh, that's still red hot. Just stand back at a distance and use the zoom feature. That's definitely a tunnel. Okay. The thing is, when we say aircrete doesn't burn, we mean it doesn't ignite. So clearly, that did not ignite it. Not even a single smoke has come off of this yet. Okay, this had a full day to cool off and it turns out this bucket was one of my father's experimental buckets i'm not dead but he isn't happy ah well i'll get over it now i'm gonna get in closer here you can see where the molten copper dripped down the side you got a little pellet right there that lump was molten at one point when it poured in. But you do see the channel there. That's why I'm going to find out how deep that went. I mean, there's some brown rim right there. Probably a little bit of discoloration. But it's not like it burned. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. See the pipe that didn't melt, my last pipe. The rest melted. There's a powder on it. I'm going to vacuum up the dust. I'm going to edit out the noise here. And there's the molten structure at four inches down. Let's see if I can remove it. All 
Oh, yeah. Well, that came out in an interesting shape. That is molten copper right there. Yeah, so how far did that go down? I'll measure it. Another four inches. I might be hitting something in there, but it was down like this angle. Five inches. Oops. Roughly five inches. It had that top part that was it was angled like this, if you recall. So five inches. I'm gonna dust this off and we'll take a closer look at it. My curiosity did get the best of me. I tried to bend it to see if it would bend and it broke. It feels a little hollow, a little light. I'll probably break another piece here. Yeah, hollow, very brittle. This chunk, however, is very heavy. Very, very heavy. If I would have did a little better job melting it down, I guess my confidence in melting this was a little overstated. I'll have to definitely run this experiment again, but I'll actually get the full molten metal. I mean, this was a chunk of extremely hot metal. It was molten right up until I let it blow out. So it wasn't too much cooler than its melting point. I just, really dumb, my bad. Yeah, I went to clean the copper off so it looks better. Oh, did I show you the nice green disc? It's like a rainbow color in there. Very pretty. All right. Now, where's an air creep burn experiment? Here, let me grab a sheet that I had cut here. Nice corners, huh? I think I ruined enough of the product. My dad's test sample here. Now this penny is actually copper coated. Everyone thinks it's pure copper, but it's a US penny, copper coated. As you see, it's silver inside. If you also notice, aircrete does not burn. In no way, shape, or form did this ever cause a fire. Despite the extreme heat, there was no flames, no smoke. It is literally fireproof. There's nothing you can do to this that will ever make it contribute to a fire. That's still molten. What is it, zinc in there I think it is? Yeah, I think it's zinc. But the pennies are just copper coated. I could still pick up this piece of air creep even though you saw it get red hot, melted a penny on it. It doesn't transmit the heat, it's an insulation. Still molten. Well the heat isn't going anywhere, it's because the product isn't really absorbing the heat. Make sure to subscribe and like. I'll do some more experiments like this. Hopefully I'll be more mindful of my father's test samples. That was pretty mean of me. Melted copper, melted penny. This is obviously now some sort of copper alloy because there's no more copper in it. Even though it once was a penny, it's now more like an alloy because the two metals melted together.